kind of cool. But if 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 this is true that all these are are connected, then what is the what is the plan here? What do they want? And the what's the end game? That's the word. The, the end game is that uh, we all basically um, become the the humanity basic uh, uh, be, become uh, a satanic be, be inducted into their satanic cult, uh, mm -hmm. which is essentially capitalism. And uh, but of course, humanity uh, the the vast majority of humanity would be at the level of uh, ex being exploited. But, but essentially, we're all being inducted into Satanism. And then once we're all inducted into Satanism, once the uh, society has been successfully subverted and we are all doing uh, homosexual or pedophilic things uh, without even thinking about it, then what does what do these group of people in control gain? Well, I mean, their 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 goal they worship uh, Satan or Lucifer. They're their goal is to turn the world upside down, turn morality up on its head. So um, this is their form of worship. So this is and you know, and, and, for... and along the and along the lines, they have a lot of wars and kill a lot of people needlessly, which I hope you don't think is an anecdote too, like Iraq or Afghanistan or all the people being killed in this needlessly in Pakistan and well, sure, God knows you, you don't have to tell us that they're being. People are being killed needlessly in those countries. That's absolutely true. I just want right. to know. Right, yeah, and war, war is a form of satanic uh, sacrifice. I mean, these wars are, these wars were, you know, not necessary. Like, was Iraq necessary? Is Iraq in better shape today than it was, uh, um, than it was uh, under Saddam Hussein? I don't think so. Mm. Was Saddam Hussein a real threat to anybody? No. Um, so, so you're saying they're doing this purely out of worship, just for the like the fun of like the pure worship. They, their of... goal is to degrade humanity, uh, and humanity is being degraded, mm -hmm. uh, you know, on a daily and yearly basis. And then once it's all degraded, then they just get to revel in the fact that they've degraded humanity. You know, I'm not uh, saying this. I'm not quite sure uh, exactly what their goal di goal is, but I think it is to degrade and ultimately destroy. I mean, look at the Second World War. One one of the, my main uh, focuses in my books is to show that the the First and Second World Wars, in fact, all wars are they're contrived and they're orchestrated, uh, sure. and that and that the Illuminati are on both sides of every war. And that they essentially, the wars are designed to just to chew up and destroy patriots and healthy people. Well, yeah, there's evidence of that. Like the Rothschilds, uh, the 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 Rothschilds uh, supported and funded both sides of World War II, the Nazis and the uh, the Amer and the Allies. Do you, exactly. Do you think and, there's, that, uh... and there are articles, there are articles in my book showing that Hitler actually was was a traitor. I know that sounds absurd. But uh, I just refer you to these articles, or in my books, or on my website. Uh, you know, just Borman Hitler were traitors. Uh, just Google that. M A K O W. So then, what do we have to do to fight against the satanic Illuminati? Well, just understand that uh, the society we live in is uh, um, is really uh, the the power, the the people that hold the levers of power in our society. Are are out to get us. So, and and that and may, and the, are the worst is the mass media. So what we we what we need to do is inform ourselves about them, and uh, and to somehow shield ourselves from their influence. Mm -hmm. And 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 the, you know and the worst influence is the mass media, uh, at television and and movies because they promulgate the uh, you know the the sickness. I have a question. Yes, Phoebe has a question. Um, sure. Hello. Do you feel like since you have become so aware and awakened to all this, all these things, um, do you feel like Satanists recognize you, or do you feel like more bombarded by all this when you walk around the world? No, I'm I'm just too small to be of any uh, interest in them, oh. and I haven't had any pushback, whatever. No, not at all. No. Um, a little bit in your uh, in the description for your books, you talk about the um, history of uh, anti-Semitism and Zionism, um, and um, the 
Masonic and Jewish bankers who um, basically took over the world. Can you speak a little bit to, to that? What what about their um, role in all of this? The, well, the capitalism is yeah. capitalism is Jewish. Um, capitalism is the basis of all occult. Um, what Jews don't seem to, you know, but if you ask an average Jew, and I am a Jew, uh, well, what do you think of the Kabbalah? They, they, they'd say, I've never heard of it. Or uh, that's some kind of um, religious book, isn't it? Or if they're like Madonna, they'll say, oh, uh, yeah, you wear a little red thread or something, don't you? And to me, it's, for, for most Jews, it's just hocus pocus. The Jews don't, you know, most Jews and Christians think that Judaism is the New Te- Old Testament. Um, but in fact, uh, Judaism is the Kabbalah and the Talmud, which, which uh, blatantly and brazenly contradict the Old Testament. In other words, the the Old Testament is like, you know, the front and the uh, you know the window dressing show the world. Even even it is questionable, but the real Judaism is the Kabbalah and uh, the Talmud. And so Jews, Jews don't really know, Jews don't really have a clue about the religion. They don't think, they don't really realize uh, that Judaism isn't a religion. Uh, unfortunately, it's a satanic cult. <laughs> because the Kabbalah is uh, satanic, and that's what determines Christ, uh, Judaism. You know, I mean, all of this sounds like off the wall to you guys, but the reason it sounds off the wall is because this information is being suppressed which is a function of their control. Uh, I don't know if this information is being suppressed. I've heard people say stuff like this before. Oh, good, good. I'm glad Jews, to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Jewish people are satanic. I just. Oh want no, to I'm know. not saying Jews are satanic. Or that I didn't Judaism say. Did I say Jews cult. are satanic? You said Judaism. I, I is a said satanic Judaism. Cult. There. Okay. And I said Jews don't know anything about yeah, the no, Kabbalah. No, people have been saying that for years. I mean that's like yes, the and number it's for, one and it's for good reason. The thing from because from it's like for good reason and, and anti-Semitism, unfortunately. And I am a son of Holocaust survivors myself. But anti-Semitism is not baseless. Jews have been used by these uh, Kabbalists who run, you know, the the religion and the organized Jewry. They've been manipulated into into serving their purposes. And then, and have I gone into Freemasonry? Freemasonry is, is a proxy. So, ju- so we're not just talking about Jews, we're talking about Freemasons too. Freemasons is Judaism for Gentiles. So we're talking about millions and millions of non-Jewish Kabbalists. So this isn't just about Jews, okay? Yes. And in my book, it goes into the fact that over half the presidents of the United States were Freemasons. Uh, most, you know, most of the representatives in uh, Congress are Freemasons. I mean, this has gone way beyond Jews. Uh, so, did it started with uh, it started with Judaism, and then it expanded into Freemasonry for the Gentiles who wanted to practice, who wanted to worship the Kabbalah, uh... it, who wanted to be get on get in on the uh, on the credit scam. You know, can you tell us the, about the they, credit scam? Well, the credit scam is that uh, governments are quite capable of issuing their own paper, their own currency, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, as we're, but uh, the uh, the bankers manage to have that currency be issued in the form of a debt to them. So all debt is really a debt to these private families, and 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 then every year the governments pay pay interest on that debt to these private families. It's totally unnecessary. You know, governments can issue paper that is currency that is not a form of debt. So, so these people exercise controlling power in society. Naturally, uh, you know, second-rate people who can't make it on their own will sell their principles because that's all they've got, um, and and serve the uh, as a proxy for these uh, bankers and their agenda. And that's what uh, how I define Freemasonry. Mm. Um, yeah, I think uh, uh, actually Karen Hudis uh, speaks about that. Uh, she's the former World Bank uh, uh, whistleblower uh, about the currency war, uh, the Federal Reserve printing money so that eventually money will become valueless and countries will no longer accept it because they have some because it's so devalued. 
Yeah, well, that's, you see, she doesn't, I don't agree, that's for example, where I don't agree with her. See, what we don't have to understand is, is, is I believe anyway, is that money has no intrinsic value. It's only as good as what you can get for it, right? I mean, you'll accept my money because you can turn around and give it to someone else and get something of equal value, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. So uh, money is money should be seen as a coupon. It's a coupon. It's not. It has no intrinsic value. It's uh, you know, and um, and so it doesn't you know to say that money will become valueless is is kind of meaningless. It is valueless. Right. It, you know. So what about the um, the Jesuits? Uh, Karen uh, Hudis talks about the Jesuits being behind the network of control. Do you have any information on the Jesuits? Yeah, you know what? Um, I um, uh, when when I where I look, um, I see these. I see Kabbalists, uh, Satanists. If the Jesuits are Satanists, then then that fits. I leave the Jesuits to other people. I don't say they're not important. I, I, they just don't interest me. Mm-hmm. Um, what interests me are, are the uh, Kabbalists, Freemasons, Communists. Do you think um, there's any um, extraterrestrial or alien not, like elements? To, can we hear about the communists? Well, communism is a, is a, a major branch of Illuminism and Freemasonry. Um, you know, the May 1st, May Day, that's the uh, anniversary of communism, and it's the anniversary of the Illuminati, May 1st, 1776. Mm-hmm. Uh, communism is a basically a... Uh, an instrument of the Illuminati always was, always will be, and it's um, and the the so-called goals of communism, uh, uh, you know, uh, equality and state ownership. That's all a, a that's all a ruse. Uh, I mean, the state might own everything, but these bankers own the state and control it. Um, it, it this idea of public ownership is nonsense. Mm. And that's why uh, communist regimes rarely actually address the needs of the people. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, sometimes they do when, you know, earnest people are there. But in general, uh, communism is a ruse. So do you feel like there's um, any uh, extraterrestrial aspect to this? Or do you feel like there may be any sort of uh, alien intervention uh, or a sort of... Uh... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't need to... My... my uh, Attitudes. I don't need to go there in order to explain what's happening. Right. And so I just, um, I, I'm, I'm satisfied with, uh, with essentially the credit scam and the uh, bankers and the mm-hmm. capitalists and, and, and you know they own the, they own the networks, they own the newspapers, uh, Freemasons and capitalist Jews. You know they're basically their instruments. All the politicians, most of them are fr- Freemasons. Barack Obama is, Ob- uh, Clinton, they're all Satanists. Yeah. You know. So uh, Phoebe has a, uh, one. One, a question for you. Yeah, I have a question. Sure. Um, so do you think there's any religion here on this planet that's not Satanic in some form? Like any cult? Because they're all pretty much cults. You mentioned Jew- Judaism. I mean, obviously, maybe Christianity, Catholicism, everything connected to that. I, I think I, I like the New Testament. I like Jesus' teachings. Okay. I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily like the church. No. I, I also like feel that way. Yeah, I like uh, I like Eckhart Tolle. Oh yeah, I, Eckhart Tolle. Yeah, a lot of people. Now. Yeah. Yeah, I I like him a lot. A lot of people think he's terrible because Oprah Winfrey also likes him. Well, that's but, yeah, that's but, uh, true. But uh, he's not. He speaks to me. Yeah. And uh, I think that I think his teachings are, uh, uh, as far as I've seen, uh, very wholesome and very true and very positive. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. So, uh, Henry, is there anything you'd like to say uh, in conclusion? We're running out of time here. Is there any uh, closing statements you'd like to make? Uh. No, I think uh, you guys did a good job of uh, getting me to uh, uh, put out my uh, point of view, and uh, your listeners, if they're interested, can uh, find out more in my uh, Illuminati books. Sure, and can you tell us the website again and where they can find that? So? Okay, my website is henrymacko.com, and uh, the uh, the books are all available on Amazon. Uh, just Google or just search Henry Macko, M-A-K-O-W, Illuminati.